right, so in this one, I just want to say so far for the things we have been uh, told about for the 5th anniversary and even this week's update, this today's update, I mean, you can check in the news here and even see it. Uh, we have an update tonight that's going to be a full gate maintenance. I do presume, by the way, this is meant to be also fixing the, uh, um, I don't know if it's a bug, but the situation where you get stutters, right, in your game. I had it fixed personally by resetting my phone, literally just turning it on and off not full reset but turning it on and off fix my stutter situation for the game but there's a full game maintenance this obviously to preload the anniversary but we're not going to be here discussing that given they do touch on some things they've been doing some nice things with just announcement even this login campaign i'll be real maybe should have uh not dumped on it as much as i did but listen we're getting some z power getting some random ticket for you know the banner that's going to come out for these anniversary units so Maybe it's not the worst thing. Obviously, it's better than nothing. So that's a W there. I think Legends is actually taking pretty good strides in doing things correctly. I mean, it, it's shocking because Legends doesn't really do that. But especially during pre annie because they usually fumble pre annie a lot. Um, just look at every other pre annie right? Besides first annie First annie was great. But we even have this. They announced this 20 minutes ago. And this is tonight coming 517. Today is 517. Um, if you're in Europe, I think it's the date is like 17-5 then the year, which nonetheless, it's coming tonight. Shall it? He's upgrading to a spark. And they're even making it. And you can see here, not only can you change the rarity, but shall it's stats and abilities before and after transformation will also get a massive boost. Plus, certain costumes can now give Shallot new tags. I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean? So if you run like oh well, he has a tail already. I don't even know what that means. But that's the point. They're doing stuff that's actually unique. Even here, the quality of life things. This, I think this is a great quality of life update here. It says the standby uh, member gauges you can now see during battle. So if I'm looking at like hits gauge, I know what it fills up, this 140-ish time recount situation. So if you don't know and you want to learn it, okay, well now you just have it. You don't even have to learn it at this point. You just have it on there for your standby. It's just like, yes, finally, get the quality of life updates that maybe aren't you know, necessities, but quality of life just means everything is easier to do and it's just better for the game it doesn't really make it worse doesn't really make everything full-on improved and fixed which isn't what it's meant to do but it just makes your quality of the life better and it's a good thing it's a good update to have these things even here i mean we don't have many hp bench zenkais that are actually like i don't know what the word is i want i don't want to say good but um recent i guess we have like kaba chill bergamo I'm missing somebody. Uh, Purple 21, there you go. Now we have Gotenks. This has been somebody that should have had a Zenkai for a good minute. I did not read what he does here, I'll be real. Um, what does he even do? Special, uh, special move. Wait, what? Special, special move. Oh, I guess green card. And ultimate get a boost. Unlock all uniques to reduce enemy cube by and seal a card if health is 50% or below, equal to 50% or below, after being hit by enemies' arts attack while on the field at once. Doesn't seem very useful, but still, it's an HP buff that's a Zenkai. It could either be from Majin Buu Saga, hybrids, and or fusions. Obviously, it's your fusions probably preludes to the Annie, though it would probably be the next LF Zenkai that preludes to the Annie, just like Legends Fest 4 coup preloaded to the fours. Nonetheless, it's an HP buff, Zenkai buff, and that's a good thing. It's just another quality of life thing that's just good for everyone that's, well, getting it. Here, we have a little bit of a hiccup, I'll be real. I'm not sure. I don't have a full, uh, opinion on this yet but my uh, optimistic side is approaching because i see this good quality of life i see shall i get some love he might even go super saiyan blue this anniversary who knows right we don't know anything but you could maybe you know say that could be the case and i wouldn't even argue with you i'd be like yeah he's getting sparking why the fuck wouldn't he go blue it just kind of makes sense go boom boom with the bus makes sense right this I don't know, this extra arts damage, kind of like link leveling for Legends, essentially, where, okay, you keep boosting this damage, I assume, by just doing these cards while either in a PvP or PvE setting. Okay, you keep getting more damage and damage, and it's, like, per unit. Um, I don't know if how it'll affect PvP entirely. It doesn't seem to have that big of a uh, thought process for it. I, I don't know. I, I just, I worry about this optimistically i think this will be okay but like especially in the beginning because no one's gonna have this shit i peaked out at this little 99 fucking whatever the fuck they're kind of go for here but i do think optimistically this is actually a better than worse thing because pve is hard for players not because you know the events are actually hard the ai is actually hard to beat but it's just 
you need stars sometimes. Sometimes you don't have new units, so you need stars on the other units that are okay boosts, but not the highest boost, like the new unit. So you just need stars, and this kind of just helps you do that. So I think that could have an intentional goodness and an unintentional really badness. But right now, I'll just say it seems okay. I'm not really, you know, pressed on it or against it, even here again. I say Legends is doing a lot of W's because it's true. These are good quality of life things. They didn't have to do this. They just are doing this. They've been announcing these day after day and day. And it's kind of weird they didn't just, you know, add it to the news every single day. They added it today, which is like not even a tweet, just a summary. But still, bonuses to drop rates and drop amounts will now be displayed uh, differently instead of being displayed as bonus. What that does is makes everything less tedious. I hate going to the news and looking at the raid and being like, okay, let me go back to news, news, raid, news, raid, news, raid, so I can see and put my benches. I don't do that now. It'll just show me, okay, this unit gives X amount of drop up, this unit gives X percentage chance up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Again, quality of life, it is actually a good quality of life there. Like they're doing actually good updates. Profile card, I don't think anybody cares more like a meme thing, but like, uh, all right. I mean, interaction is good. Interaction gets more uh, clicks, so it's interactable. People like interactable things, and Legends is uh, no exception to that. Even here, I mean, here's 100 CC, right? But the thing I also want to uh, mention is this. This is probably the most important thing to the update. I will say there is a little bit more, which I don't think is too uh, important. You know, co-op matchmaking time reduced, uh, items add to the you know uh dual exchange shop blah 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 um soul exchange metals blah 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 uh, reducing equipment awakening cost is pretty good especially if you go for peak equipments usually they are awakened equips battle bonus increasing zenny great then your boosters and you know your skip things get more value but this is very surprising learn battle techniques with the plan tutorial series learn with trunks path to victory battle lecture learn to effectively apply the fundamentals or challenge yourselves by studying advanced skills. Now, I don't think they'll do like drop combos or like, you know, overcharge to an extent to where you pop your main ability and, you know, preemptively predict a sidestep type of thing. I don't think they'll do any of these like crazy techs that you could do like a back flow into like a mid range flow thing. You do a card, then you kind of have like this frame timing where you just actually just appear in their face. I don't think they'll do anything that's like advanced, but just a basic thing. And I know it's very late for being five years into a game or i guess a little bit prior to but the point still stands they're at least doing these steps and i do think that's that's something you have to celebrate you know it's not every day you see a game that's just like all right let's kind of revamp these things make them a little bit more accessible a little bit more kind or a little bit more just understanding and that's every single update they've had they haven't had one thing to tweet out here where it's like nah this is going to be trash nothing nothing really again you had the skepticism of this here with the uh arts boost and i understand that skepticism but it's not like i'm thinking right now this is terrible like i can't see any silver lining i could see easily a silver lining i think this is just great for pve players that don't have new unit you don't have to summon on every banner so the game kind of forces you to do that a little bit with pve content if you really want to farm cc well now you have this and it might just make the events a little bit easier and that's a w again it could have a negative with pvp but that's the only thing, and that's really not, I don't even think it'd be that drastic. I say that now as an optimistic perspective, but I just don't think it'd be that drastic. I, I think Legends is actually in a very good positioning moving forward. Um, hopefully they continue this trend to where we can't see more updates be tweeted. Obviously they're gonna go over all of this when they do the uh, reveal here at, uh, I believe that's gonna be, would that be? I don't know what time it's going to be in my time zone, but May 27, 2 a.m., right? Probably should be like 9, 10 a.m. for, you know, East Coast or like sometime during the morning for everyone in the world, right? They usually do their videos and stuff at the morning time. But nonetheless, I, I think they're actually in a very, very prime position to make this the best anniversary because of all these pre any updates that are going to come today. All these things they've mentioned in these pre any updates. Obviously, we get more depth than like the Arts Boost stuff or like the shallot adding more tag stuff for whatever that does right we'll get more depth with that tonight when we do have this main says end by the way does it show the est time for this because i know people will not do the translation on the time zones um 8 p.m eastern until 6 a.m eastern so it, it's a long maintenance right that's uh it's a 10 hour maintenance so be ready for that do all your dailies do all your stuff obviously when this video comes out just do all your dailies right you're already here you're already talking about the game discussing the game looking at the game like just do your dailies don't don't fuck up i mean even here 
uh, in consideration of the players who have difficulty completing daily uh, missions due to maintenance, it won't even reset your stamp. So even if the game does go into like a 24 hour maintenance, well, you still need to get a reset on your stamp because it'll still factor in because well, that day is uh, still ongoing, right? But just do your dailies, do all that stuff. I do think there is a, uh, a good sequence we can even have. I mean, reading this here, uh, discontinuation of event character souls. I remember back in the day, and even today, they were always just tedious to form like Red 21, Ultra Namic Goku, Ultra Namic uh, Vegeta. They're all just tedious as fuck to farm. There was really no point to have these, and they haven't had them for a minute with the free-to-play characters, and that's a good thing. I'm discontinuing them. Again, it's just quality of life. They're doing very great. It's shocking that they're doing this very great. Usually Legends actually does cater more toward this uh, Legends Fest style as like their big thing, though anniversary should be their big thing anyways. Um, but they're doing it. They're, they're catering more toward anniversary. This hasn't happened since first anniversary, I'll be honest. They haven't really like shown out some like crazy shit where it's like, okay, we really care about this to pop off. Maybe second Annie with like using the units pre-coming out with like Rage Trunks and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But besides that, there's been no anniversary where it's like, yep, they cared about this a lot. This whole thing that they've done with all these tweets and all these things that are coming tonight as a pre ante is more than they do ever for Legends Fest. They've done for any anniversary in the past. This is definitely the most built up anniversary for at least quality purposes of the game which is, again, something you do not see for Legends. They're not known for their, like, quality control. Of, like, okay, we'll make this more accessible, more easier. They actually make it a lot more tedious, more than easier for the most part. And they're flipping that, which, again, I, I'm I'm impressed. I'm, I'm proud that the game is actually attempting, and seemingly with the things I can read from these updates that are going to be coming, um, succeeding in doing these updates to be a better quality for the game rather than just be this whole negative. Now, there is still negative, don't get me wrong, the double ultra teams and blah, 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 the boost system, they're, they're still negative. But the things they're working to do that are going to be implemented are seemingly all positive. Again, the arts boost can be debated as we know more and we see more details and the you know, percentages and blah, 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 the finite details, right? But everything else, it's all positive. It's all quality that you want, that's good for the game, that's good to help you want to play the game and it's also good for new players to come into the game and really that's what matters the most for them here during anniversaries that is when new players come uh, into the game old players return to the game if they stop playing for a good while they were like oh my god i got bored of i don't know um ultra gogeta blue and they were like well i didn't pull them so i'm outy and then they came back because this anniversary has x unit and they have this x quality and they have oh my god shallots may be usable now right they actually have improvements that are uh beneficial to players old and new which is something they do not do often i keep stressing this because they are actually doing it now gotta get legends or w's they don't get many they do not get many but this seemingly is a good build up to the anniversary this is going to be a big update we'll see what happens with the stutters and all that stuff but the actual stuff we know that's coming 99 percent of it seems like a big w arts boost again we will see what happens with that but everything else I have no complaints. I'm genuinely impressed. Legends is actually uh, caring enough about this anniversary, but, and pre-anniversary. But, what do you guys think? Is this actually W for Legends? Or is this just, you know, the, the rise up the hill to the big downfall? Or is this like the halfway roller coaster and it just keeps going up, 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 up? Then it kind of drops when anniversary ends, but still, that's fine. Anniversary ended, right? They got three months to continue that, so we'll see how. Uh, anniversary goes but for now this seemingly is a good prelude to the things we will be getting i am uh, very intrigued to see where we go from here i i don't really know how to predict where anniversary is going to go you know there there's sequences that could definitely be very very good or they could be like the mui raid where it's like you need nine stars and you need like a 14 star top Vegeta and that's like how you get decent rewards and you need like all the free to play units already done and you need like all these units that are like random LFs that are like not even on banners already 14 stars to get like the peak drops. Hopefully we don't go that manner. Hopefully we go like, I don't know, five world challenge raids and just keep, I don't know why it turns off 30, do not disturb, but okay. Um, hopefully there's like five world challenge raids where you just keep going and going and going to them. That was just infinite and then you just have a lot of resources from them. We will see. I'm interested to see how this does go, but for now, I think Legends has uh, hit a good stride.
And I hope, I really, really hope for my sake and yours and theirs that uh, this is not just a fluke. This whole week of just tweeting updates and then the update actually coming tonight. We will see. Legends W so far. Let's see it continue. Rend. See you guys in the next one.